You guys see me get progressively more fried as the, uh, the stream goes on. So who's to say how long it'll go? But maybe it'll go a little while. Who's to say? Who's to say? Yeah, well, let's get into uh, the February 11th birthday reading. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get into that there. Uh, let's try a little bit of uh, music there. Hmm? Where are we? Where are we? Oh, yeah. Set the tone right down there deep in the background. February 11. Yeah. The day of improved comfort. Oh, yeah. Day of improved comfort. If you didn't hear me the first time. Many born on February 11th. Make a control. <laughs> Stand by. Let me, uh. Let me turn off the monitor on this because I hear myself in the headphones. <laughs> and it messed me up all yesterday there. Oh, you're just going to do the output. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. All right. On the day of improved comfort, many born on February 11th make a contribution toward improving the quality of life around them. Such improvements may be of a conceptual, inventive nature, or of a distinctly hedonistic variety. That's right. In either case, the physical well-being of those close to them is likely to not only be looked but after, but improved. Yeah. The, key, the key concept for February 11th people is improvement, for they believe that things are never really as comfortable or efficient as they could be. Although comforts and luxuries may result from their efforts, most February 11th people themselves are not hedonists. It is only the less highly evolved individuals born on this day who give themselves over to an unremitting pursuit of pleasure. This can actually work out quite well for a time, but inevitably spells disappointments, jealousies, positive possessiveness, <laughs> and pain. For more highly evolved February 11th people, Improving the lot of others is a creative task which they pursue with great ardor and dedication. In contributing to the quality of life, living standards, diet, and entertainment of others, February 11 people may not only wish to make life easier and more pleasant, but also more meaningful. Improvements of a practical nature may only be means to allow more time and energy for intellectual, creative, or spiritual concerns. Indeed, those born on this day are remarkable in that they are able to enjoy the pleasures of life without becoming mired in them or losing sight of what is more important or most important rather freedom is a central theme in the lives of february 11 people particularly in regard to overcoming limitations transcending the limitations of their body whether overcoming congenial or acquired handicaps or just showing up their deficiencies can be both challenging and rewarding for them. In fact, February 11 people hate to see themselves or others held back by any sort of disadvantage, whether physical, mental, or financial. Unfortunately, in their desire to improve with a lot of friends, family, and acquaintances, they may demonstrate a better way of doing things with all the best intentions, but wind up being resented for it. So take heed, take heed. Those born on February 11th can overlook the fact that most people refer to be left, prefer to be left alone to do things their own way, even if they make the mistakes or do poorly. Certainly, it can be a difficult. Certainly, it can be difficult to watch. Foolish or stubborn people go on making the same errors or failings to take or failing to take advantage of opportunities for improvement. But that is precisely what those born on this day will sometimes have to do. February 11th people who rise high in society can be regarded as mavericks and antagonize more reactionary spirits who are threatened by change and progress. Thus, in order to remain successful, they will need to cultivate a large measure of tact and diplomacy and become more sensitive to those which are best left untouched. Oh, the day of improved comfort. I'm seeping at the nose here, folks. Stand by. That's better. Born on this day, Thomas Alva Edison. Yeah. Did you know his middle name was Alva? Inventor of the light bulb, phonograph, wax cylinder record, kinetoscope, a forerunner of motion pictures. 
founded Edison Gas and Electric. Mary Quant, she's a British fashion designer and an innovator. Yeah, Virginia E. Johnson, sex researcher of Masters and Johnson. Joseph Mankiewicz, I think, film producer, director, All About Eve, sleuth, and he was a screenwriter. Paul Bocuse, French master chef, Nouvelle Cuisine, oh, Nouvelle Cuisine Pioneer, restaurant tour, and what's this? Oh, I guess that was the name of his restaurant, his name. Burt Reynolds, film TV actor, signed with Baltimore Courts, uh, Colts as the football player. A car accident led to acting. Hmm. Lloyd Benson, U.S. Senator, Texas Vice Presidential Candidate. King Farouk, Egyptian ruler, overthrown in an uprising. Excuse me, Manuel Noriega, pa Panamanian dictator, unprecedented capture and extradition by U.S. government, convicted of drug offenses. Harry F. Talbot, British botanist, physicist, photography pioneer. Let's see, Rudolf Ferkusny. Wow, the names lately. Pianist, giving concerts in his 90s. Tina Louise, film TV actress, Ginger of Gilligan's Island. Who else we got on February 11th birthday? Kim Stanley, film actress. Leslie Nielsen, film actor. Gene Vincent, rock and roll singer. Let's see here. Uh, Sir Vivian E. Fuchs, British geologist, explorer, writer of, of Ice and Men. Eva Gabor, Hungarian-born film actress, Roy Fuller, British writer of My Child and My Sister. Let's see here. Ba -da -ba -ba. Carl Brandler Procht, Australian astrologer. Rudolf Bauer, German modern painter and art theorist. <laughs> oh, excuse me there. Let's move on to the numbers. I must be catching cold now. Oh, no, actually, it's just the coffee, I reckon. Let me get a little bit of, uh, what do you call running nose from the coffee for some reason better than sneezing for three minutes which happens sometimes let's see those born on the 11th of the month and ruled are ruled by the number two one plus one equals two if you didn't know and by the moon those ruled by the number two often make good co-workers and partners rather than leaders and this underlines the social orientation of February 11 people. The number 11 also lends to a feeling for the physical plane as well as a possible interest in twins. Ooh. Coincidences, symmetry, or other doubles. I wonder if we'll roll some doubles today, huh? For you February 11 people? Maybe. Can you hear that? Yeah, let's, let's roll some doubles, huh? A moon-Uranus connection. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. Makes for an unusual and eccentric characteristics and a tendency to be highly idealistic. Are you idealistic? I think I might be. Here's your tarot. The 11th card of the Major Arcana is Justice. A serene seated woman holding the scales in one hand and a sword in the other. She reminds us of the order of the universe and that the balance and harmony will be maintained in our lives as long as we continue on our path. The positive aspects of this card are integrity, fairness, honesty, and discipline. The negative aspects are low initiative, impersonality, fear of innovation, and grievances. All right, here's some help for you February 11th folks. Those born on February 11th may encounter more emotional difficulties than average. All right, usually they want to have things their own way and can't and can be quite childish in satisfying their needs, sometimes at the expense of others. Mm -hmm. In order to help them understand why they so often find themselves in emotional hot water, of course a therapy or psychological counseling could help. Overeating and sensual or sexual overindulgence can be a problem for some February 11 people, but generally not to the more mental types born on this day. February 11 diet should be uh, directed to some extent. Yeah, sorry for the pause there, but I mean, not sorry. Uh, but not subject to too many imposed health regimens. As far as physical exercise is concerned, many less athletic February 11 people are relatively unconcerned, but should nevertheless make an effort to integrate some moderate, non stressful form of outdoor activity in their daily routine. What would seem the past few February folks don't really need to exercise for some reason. 
they do write moderate because they don't want you to be a lazy ass but you know take that for what it's worth you gotta you gotta get out of exercise free card there based on this book here's some advice february 11th folk try to pay more mind to what people really want all right not just to what they appear to need Allow others more privacy. Observe your ideals and principles, but don't impose them on family or friends. Okay? And here is your meditation. The pursuit of pleasure ultimately involves the suffering of pain. Oh. Happily put. All right, now that we're done with that, let's move on to the art world. Uh, 